Okay guys, this definitely wasn't a planned video to make, but this is just something that's happened to me and literally within minutes my entire Steam account has been taken over by some Russian foreign account. So I'm, I'm sure whoever has clicked on this video you're experiencing the same issue as me and I hope this video can help you. Okay, so this morning I logged into Steam and I got a message from an account, a random account, just offering me some free skin on a website. And I'm not stupid, I've got common sense, you all probably do. Um, you know, but if you accidentally do click it, then you know. So what happened to me was I accidentally clicked on the link, literally trying to close the box, and it took my authenticator details, everything, and literally in the span of about five minutes, uh, I'd lost everything. Okay, so another important note to make is don't be worried <clears throat> if you see this, something like this. So that's my main account. I'm on a separate account, just a backup one I made just in case. So as you can see, my main account is currently playing CSGO, but obviously I'm, I'm not playing CSGO. But if I go to view profile, it says currently in game. It, if you can't join the game, it, they're basically not doing anything because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a bot doing it, so you can't view anything. But then if you go to the inventory slot tab, you can access the inventory and as you can see my CSGO inventory is not that stacked as it used to be um, but all literally I can tell you every single one of my skins is still here so now I'll load up CSGO on this backup account so as you can see I'm on the CSGO thing I've literally only played CSGO like once on casual on this account so it's pretty fresh but I've only got one friend and it's my other account so as you can see my main account is currently playing CSGO. So if I view my community profile, playing CSGO, but the silver lining is all my inventory is still here, haven't lost anything. Obviously, if you do lose something, you're going to have to go through another process of trying to get it back. But for people that are in my situation, your inventory should still be intact. The only thing to note is, like me, I've literally got from here from quad to four I got a message I got another one so they seem to go in about 15 minute intervals I keep receiving messages this is the message alert you have one item not withdrawn so they have essentially taken your account to advertise the scam for even more to get account after account after account and this message will have been sent to numerous people on my steam account I can not do anything about that apart from apologize when I get back into it but everyone knows the score now uh, if they see that they'll know it's not me obviously but it is something to be aware of and uh, if your friends see it then tell them make sure they do not click on the link because that is what exactly what the hacker wants them to do because it, the more accounts they get the more they can advertise the scam the more accounts they have access to so now I'll just pull these this stuff up for you guys so the first email I got given was this one at you can see the timestamp 1253 I got a message saying, Dear, that's my username, original username for my account. The Steam Mobile Authenticator has been removed from your Steam account. The important thing is, if you act quick enough, you can press the lock my account button and that will stop everything. No trading, no doing anything on your account until you get your account back and um, you ap approve it through Steam. Okay, so then I get sent another set of emails. Literally look at the timestamps between these. Look, that's 12.53. At 12.53, my... Authenticator got denied. At, at the same time, my phone was removed from my account. Then, the next email. Dear Madster, the email associated with your Steam account has been successfully changed. Obviously, I didn't change it. Now, you guys will see something very similar to this. So, the person that's done it will be very similar. It might not be the same, but it's usually a Russian account with a different IP to obviously yours. So if you're going to do that, you can press use the specific uh, recovery link for assistant recovering or self-locking your account. That's fine. You can do that or you can just go straight to the website and, and file a support ticket. If you've got to this point, and bearing in mind we're looking at the timestamp here, this is not ideal. 12.53 both. So within a minute, my account's completely gone. I cannot get in anymore. My password's changed. Everything has changed. So, what you want to do is go onto this, 
go on to this page now go on to the steam support section obviously you're not going to be able to sign in so you press help I can't sign in and then you say my account was stolen and I need help recovering it so go down to change my password now once you get to change my password it will say enter your account name email address or phone number so after this you'll come up to this page now if you notice that that obviously I'm not disclosing my email but that is not my email it doesn't end in that it doesn't start in that so you have to press I no longer have access to this email address from there you obviously want to sign into your account so you try using your password but they've changed your password now you press I forgot my password and here we go this is the important part this is you put your current email address so this is the one that you need to be able to be to see so you can receive the steam support then you give the email that's linked to your steam account and a phone and a phone number that was linked to it before it got removed moving down if you've purchase games on the account it would be very helpful if you used PayPal because you can put your PayPal account holder name and an invoice of a Steam purchase which directly links you to that account which is perfect if you've got that but if you don't don't worry I'm pretty sure you can send it without and then obviously your email address associated with your PayPal account now this extra little box here would be very very useful uh, just for a little bit of ev just a little bit of evidence specific to your situation so you can type whatever you want in here at the end just a little no I mean you don't have to do this but obviously the more details you provide the better chance you're gonna get of um, you know getting your account back potentially so once you filled all that in do your capacha do the I'm not a robot thing send and once you've sent you should be able to go back onto your email now and go here and it should say right here your steam spot help request and you'll have to enter the code that you get given every code specific to you so you just need to enter that and then once you've done that you'll get this email which is steam support has received your help request we're reviewing your help request and we'll get back to you as soon as possible and then that's if you want to edit anything if you want to go back you know you're not locked out of it as you can see guys this is my emails now so from here down is where you'll have seen in the previous recording before I got my account back and now the day after I'm recording this now um, I got these new emails so recent changes to your steam account and then it says this okay so this is the important part everyone's is different obviously mine says that and then it'll give you a randomly generated password by um, the steam support group um, you, I mean you can try and enter that if you want to try and log into my account but I've changed the password obviously but I'm just showing you this is the email that you will get uh, with a similar code um, and it'll say your username and that's how you know uh, you're in the steps of getting your account back and then once you've got back into your account you should be able to get back into it now you need to go through the process again as if you're almost setting up the account to add the email addresses add the phone numbers do everything so once you've got this email and you've done that you've entered your password you're technically back into your account but now it's a very important part you need to secure it again so instantly get your emails back in get a new password set and most importantly add your mobile authenticator back so there's no chance of this happening again once you've done all that you should get similar emails to what I have received so you know telling you a steam guard code to log in and um, adding a phone number your phone number was added adding an email and all that th stuff so once you've got to that part you have successfully got back your account back and the only issue is um, with it, you adding the authenticator back again you have a 15 day trade ban as most of you will know so you won't be able to trade items in or out of your account for 15 days but you know it's it's worth it in terms of locking your account down uh, it's it's very useful so you just that's one thing to deal with one thing to know if you're wondering why you can't trade so I hope this video has helped anyone um, you should get the your account back very very soon um, it should work and you'll get a new email saying that you got your account back this video wasn't planned or anything so um, you know it's not a usual upload I do and I, I'm only doing this because even if I help if I help a thousand people I help a thousand people if I help one person I help one person I'm just doing it because it's so easy to fall for these little scams and I really hope a video like this will help you and has given you clear step-by-step -step guides on exactly how to get your account back and how to get back into your Steam account and get playing games again